Matt Lenehan Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store, Forged Irish Stout. Delighted to be joined by Callum Smith. Callum Maria, Rotunda Boxing Club. Three weeks into camp, preparing for Arta Better Behave. Saying to Buddy, you're looking great shape. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Camp's, camp's going well. So far, so good. Obviously, it's a, it's a long camp, but as the weeks are going, I'm, I feel I'm improving, working on little things with Buddy. And it's kind of basically the second camp for the for the same fight. Obviously, I've done about 90% of the last camp, so it's just basically brushing up on what we were working on last time and adding little bits. But yeah, it's going going well so far. How tough was that to sort of deal with the fact that you're supposed to fight at a certain point and it gets pushed back? And like you said, you've done 90% of the work preparing yeah. for this chap and now you're having to sort of just more or less brush up because you know yeah. what needs to be done. You've already done it. How, how, how's that to deal with mentally? Frustrating? Yeah, it, it, I think that's the way that's frustrating and it's quite deflating. I'd say I've done most. If you get it, if it happens earlier than camp, then it's not as big a problem. But I'd done most of it, I'd done 90% of the camp, I was ready to go and it's on them but at the same sense it's not, it, I'm not the only fighter that's ever happened to and you no, know, I pulled out of a fight a week, week or two before earlier in the yeah. year so I know it does happen, it, it's the sport we're in, it, it's a tough game and if you put your body through it through camping, niggles and injuries do come and you no, know, inevitably some of them do end up postponing a fight so it, I, I wasn't, you no know, poor me moan and that type of thing but it is frustrating at the same time, you'd have to come down again to to go back up again for the same fight, but it's I'm pretty professional. I switched on, so I, I, I do feel I used the time well, and I say I'm a bit bang into camp now, and it's going well. And hopefully this time it does happen, and, <laughs> and I get I get to go over there and take his belt off him. I suppose it's not one that you need much motivation for because the the prize at the end of it's huge. And um, I sort of touched on it with Buddy a little bit. What's to come after? I know you will allow yourself to look past, but yeah. you know the implications if you managed to take his belt, yeah. what could be at the end of the rainbow for you. Um, I was saying to your brother Paul, I feel like when it first got announced, before it got pushed back, it was, oh, it's a great fight, you know, yeah. I, can't lose it, blah, blah, blah. I feel like now because of these Saudi fights and that they've put on, they quite keep talking about yeah. Bivol better be. You know when you hear that, are you just, does that take a bit of pressure off you in your way? Because it's like, look, I know what I'm coming to do. You're like, yeah. don't matter. Kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, look, I don't blame people for, people for wanting to see better be Bivol. As a boxing, as a boxing fan, it's a fight I'd like to see, but it, it, it is a little bit disrespectful when you no, know, there's people in boxing posting it when they know I'm due to fight him in January. I think I feel that side of it's a bit. They're looking at it as kind of a foregone close, uh, conclusion, but I'm I'm confident in my own ability. I know how good I can be when I'm at my best, and I believe the best version of me beats anyone in the world. And in my eyes, it'll be me better ever, and then well, hopefully me be well after that. So I think I can you no know, ruin people's plans, but yeah, it's not it's not. I'm not angry at people for wanting to see the fight because it is a fight that people want to see at the moment, the way it stands there, the, the two champions in this weight division. So I don't really take too much offence to it, but I'm just fully focused on me and my job, which is you know, January 13th, and I plan on ripping the script up and becoming a world champion again. Do you believe people look at your performance against Canelo and are judging you off it when it gets a big... And I, I mean, it seems to have to say, but when you, obviously, pound for pound, put his resume up against some of the greats, it stacks up. Like, and he's still doing it now, and we're potentially going to see him in Benavides and whatever else happened. But since you bounced up to this weight with Buddy, um, you notice we're punching... So you seem to be punching a lot harder, or whether there's something changing technically, or spitefulness in you, it's come out a bit more, I think. Um, why, why do you think, like, people are sort of, like, going down that road? Is it just the excitement of the Saudi thing or is it just how fickle people can be? Or I, think well, I think it's boxing fans, you know, you always kind of remember for certain performances and no matter, regardless of what I've done since or even <laughs> what I've done before and it kind of, people will always judge me on that performance which is frustrating because I think, you know, I think I've shown since moving up, I'm a, I'm a different fighter since then but again, whether people are constantly praising me or constantly putting me down, I've, it, it's what I believe in myself and I'm quite strong mentally and I believe I'm good enough to become the best light heavyweight on the planet and that starts with, with January 13th. I'm not going over there to make the numbers up. No, I've done very well out of boxing. I don't have to box for financial reasons. I do it because I believe I can become become the best in the world again and that's all the motivation I need. I was going to say, and I'll, like you mentioned there, you, you've talked financially, I'm not one to pick your pocket, but you've yeah. said, oh, look, I've done well out of boxing. So in a way, because you don't have to do it, it makes you more dangerous because you seem, you seem happy fighter in there and there's yeah. so much going on kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. I say people have different motivations and my motivation is to be the best and if I didn't believe I could do it, I, I wouldn't be sitting here. I'd be you know, happily retired as a former world champion, which is the goal I set out to do. But I feel if I was to do that, I'd know I'd, I'd probably underachieved. I've had a great career, but I know... I'm capable of more, and that's why I'm sitting here today. That's why I'm putting myself through through training camps. That's why you know, I'm taking myself away to America on my own, away mm -hmm. from my family. 
I sacrifice a lot for boxing, but I do it because I know that the rewards, how good they are, and what I'm capable of achieving. Just quickly, I've got to ask you about this fight. Cisco one. I feel like it got made out of the blue. We knew Dimitri Rivel was coming back. I wasn't sure it'd be a, a Lyndon Arthur, but mm. Lyndon's got an opportunity there, like you know, to to, to shock the world. And um, you know, he's had some terrific performances in the past against the likes of Anthony Yard. I know he got beat in the rematch, but mm. he's got a specific style. Do you? Do you see him potentially causing an upset Lyndon over there? Look, possibly. I think he's a good fighter. Bivol's obviously a very, very good fighter. But I think Bivol is the type of fighter who kind of raises his game. I think he was plateauing out a little bit. He underperformed in like the Craig Richards fight and so on. And then turns it on for Canelo and Gilberto Ramirez. And he might look at this as a step back and maybe motivational-wise he isn't at his best. But it's not a good opportunity for Lyndon. Fair play to him. He's, he's earned the right to be there. And... I wish them all the best. And just quickly, um, I know you were at the Katie Taylor fight, I believe, yeah. at the weekend. What an atmosphere the Irish fans put on. Yeah. Um, what did you make of it? Just the spectacle as a whole and what they're doing out there. Katie managed to get that victory. What did you? I know you think we caught up here a little bit after, but what did you yeah. make of it? I thought it was a, a good fight again. I thought the first one was a good fight to watch the second time. Good right. I thought Katie was a little bit smarter this time. Knew she probably can't go with Chantel punch for punch. She has to punch when she needs to and then tie it up and hold it and move and be a little bit smarter as she's getting older than age. But I thought Katie did do enough to, to get the decision. I thought last time, no, I thought Chantel done enough last time, but what an event. Like the, the atmosphere was probably one of the best I've been at and I've been at some good shows as well. Yeah. It was just, they, they backed their own, the Irish regardless of who you are or yeah. what part of Ireland you're from, they seem to always get behind me. Even the undercar fighters, the Northern Lewis was unbelievable for like Gary Cully, Cully who's been doing his yeah. Is is tightening in here, so it, the, the atmosphere before when Katie come out and when she got the decision in there, literally yeah. and they took the roof off, and that saying gets used a lot. Well, look, have you got a message for all the people who are going to be getting behind you for this trip over there to, what's say shock the world, but to to take that belt from Art Betterby? Have you got a message for all the people behind you? Yeah, just thanks for the support, not just for this fight for my whole career. I've always had great support and people who back me and people close to me, and you know, I've always said my way of thanking them is to you not know, bring them world titles back to the UK and back to England, and hopefully I can bring another three back and become a two-division world champion. Calm Smith, always a pleasure catching up with you. Um, we look forward to that and hopefully we'll have someone there to cover this because it's going to be a great night of boxing and we wish you all the best. Cheers, mate. Thank you.